This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play In The Mood by Glenn Miller. Okay, it's a very catchy tune, very famous tune that goes like this. Give you a preview before we start learning it. Check it out. Awesome tune, okay? Let's learn it right now. So break it up to parts is easier to learn. All right, so the first part, right hand goes on the A flat here, middle C, go up to the A flat. Goes A flat up to C, E flat up to the higher A flat, or four times in total. So second time, three, four. And then another fifth time, it goes A flat, G, A flat, E flat, C, E flat, D, D flat, C, B, B flat, a flat okay so that's the first part so quite a lot of notes to absorb there but there are actually patterns to this so, so first of all you can see that we have an a flat major ascending arpeggio so it goes a flat c e flat and up to the a flat for four times one two three four and then after that it's a flat g and then a flat e flat then down to c e flat and after the e flat it descends this chromatic goes D, D flat, C, B, B flat, and after the B flat goes to A flat. So that's it for the right hand, all right? So, like that, pretty iconic theme for the right hand. Left hand, just one chord is A flat major, which is A flat, C, E flat. All right, so with that in mind, two hands together, just play the first note and first chord together. So together. Awesome stuff. All right, moving on to the second part. Right hand continues, goes C, E flat up to A flat, back down to E flat, C, down to A flat, B flat, C, B flat, A flat, F, B flat, C, B flat, A flat, F, F, C. And that's it for the second part. All right, let's learn it again. So it goes C, E flat up to e, A flat, down to E flat, C, down to A flat, B flat, C, B flat, A flat, F. B flat, C, B flat, A flat, F, F, C. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, two B flat minor chords, which is B flat, D flat, F. So two of these B flat minor chords. With that in mind, two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts. B flat and B flat minor together. B flat and B flat minor together. Like that. All right, one more time. It goes. Together. Together. Just like that. Alright, so back to back the two parts of blunt so far will be played like this. Check it out. Alright, moving on to the third and last part. Right hand goes B flat C B flat G F. B flat C B flat G F F A flat A flat. That's it for the right hand. Alright, so it's slightly different. Uh, it goes G, F instead of the A flat F compared to the second part. Alright, so one more time it goes B flat, C, B flat, G, F, B flat, C, B flat, G, F, F, A flat, A flat. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have three chords. The two chords, first two chords are E flat major, which is E flat, G, B flat. Two of these chords, followed by a third chord, which is A flat major, which is A flat, C, E flat. So all those three chords in mind. So two E flat major chords and an A flat major. Two ends together goes like this. So B flat and E flat major together. B flat and E flat major together. Second A flat and A flat major together. Just like that. All right. One more time. Let's go together. Together. Second A flat and A flat major together. And that's it. There you go. So back to back, all three parts of this lesson would be played like this. Yeah, there you go. Pretty awesome stuff, okay? You can improvise a bit on the, if you want. Okay, you can do like octave arpeggios. Like. A 
the rhythmic patterns at the end. All right, yeah, so you can like combine it with like arpeggios and um, you can harmonize the right hand as well. It's gonna be like. Yeah, play around with it, okay? So, pretty catchy tune, especially the first part, very iconic. Okay, so yeah, you can just like learn the right hand first if you really like that iconic part. Okay, but anyways, hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you want to learn more catchy tunes like these, just search up your favorite song, followed by Amos Doll in the YouTube search so you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. But as for now, that's pretty much it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime and cartoon theme songs and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.